What I got set up here right now is I want to do an acid test. I want to see if there's going to be any reactions. Get going here real quick. We're going to start with the uh, vinegar. And we're going to need a little bobby to get the vinegar out. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop some vinegar on some of my, you know, insulating materials here to see what it, see what it does to this. Put a considerable amount on here. I'll get it up a little bit closer. Okay, there is very little that occurred on this particular product. That's actually a very good sign. If it's not reacting, it's probably chances are that a product is pretty basic. What I'm gonna show you here, I, I don't like comparing things, but I got nothing, this product is brand new. The only thing I can compare it to a product I used to service a long time ago. This is actually an Air Creek. You know, it's actually commercially available at this current time. You know, I'll, I'll give you a close look at it. You know, it is very friable. But we're going to see here when I do the acid test what the difference is, if there is a difference. Again, I'm going to have to pull some more acid out. Now we'll see what it does. It's actually a lot more reaction than I thought it was going to be. It's actually eating up the product. Okay, go back to my formula. That's by the way, this is my MGO board I call, and that's all we got on this guy. Let's see if it broke the product by any chance. Still solid. Okay. Let's see with the other product if that made any difference in its strength. Ooh, I guess it totally destroyed it. All right, I didn't expect that. Well, I guess it's got a lot more alkaline than I thought. Now we're gonna do another test. This particular one over here, mm, yeah, stay in the camera, is my crystals. I really want to see. You know, these crystals are actually going to disintegrate with the vinegar. Um, let me start this a little closer. Uh, let's pick this one over here. Hmm. Oh, it did not destroy it. I really thought it was going to destroy it. All right, let me try a little more. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. It technically made my crystals a little bit stronger. Because they're pretty... If I go to here, they're kind of soft. I put a little bit more on here. Okay, whatever this was worth. This over here, the non-shrinking part. This was inside my earlier videos where I was saying it wasn't shrinking, that little container. Look inside this container. I had the hardest time in the world to get this out of here. But you can clearly see it really really stuck to that to this PVC so yeah I had a really hard time getting this product out of here I actually cut more than I wanted because I wanted to do a compression test with this to see what I can hold that there is definitely a very uniform structure of cells in this product it looks like this part right here actually came with the product which is amazing because I had such a hard time getting this out of here I was about to take a jackhammer to it which would have been pretty stupid to see my purpose here but yeah but I want to try to do this eventually I'm going to do a compression test 
put this under a load. It should not hold a lot of a load. It is designed, okay, to be an insulation. And I want to use it as a block bill. I can't have that product stronger than the block. It has to be weaker than the block so it does not destroy the blocks. Because that is part of, you know, engineering. 